2 directly 2 directly into 4 which now makes this relation this relation now is is reflexive it's symmetric and it's transitive okay it's a nice big relation as well to help us to create these equivalence classes okay so the equivalence classes is for each and every a an element of a and think about it there's five of them okay there's one two three four five okay uh, so let's actually let's actually create the classes so the equivalence classes are going to be an equivalence class one two three four five and what these are are they're the sets of elements okay that each one of these values is related to so what values are one is one related to in this set here okay well one is related to one so one is in this set what about anybody else that one's related to well five is related to one so one's related to five so five is in here anything else uh, one is related to five here so once again dun, 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 that sort of covers off that set here okay so we have one five is is the equivalence class so this is the equivalence class this is the equivalence class associated with one okay what about two who is two related to well we actually have that two is related to itself okay two is also related to Oh, there three is related to two which means two is related to three okay so three is related to two uh two is related to three well we've already three in there what about four and two and two and four so two is four is related to two and two is related to four so we have four is in here what about three well if you think about it we've already done it two is related to three so three is going to be related to the others because well, let's actually see what happens who's three related to three is related to itself anybody else three is related to well four is related to three so there's a relationship okay uh three is related to four. Oh, there three is relation related to two uh, two is related to three we've already got it in there so that's that okay, you can actually see that these two things are the same okay these two sets what about four well you see four is related to four okay uh we have four is related to three and we have four is related to two okay so you can see actually that two three and four are the actual same set and what about five we have five is related to five okay we have five is related to one okay uh, and that's really it okay so what we actually have constructed here is a set of equivalence classes for each value but let's just keep in mind that what we've actually shown is you can actually clearly see that the equivalence class one is the same as the equivalence class five they're the same class because they're the same set okay the equivalence class two is the same as the equivalence class three which is the same as the equivalent class four okay so actually these actually form the same equivalence classes uh, if that if that makes sense because they're actually in the same they're in they're in they're in each other's class uh, so we actually have something like that but more importantly more importantly you can see that this set here one two three four and five is now broken up into these are the same class and these are the same class so this class one and five and two three and four when we union these together we get the set a okay clearly clearly we we have the equivalent class one unioned with the equivalence class two and don't forget one is related to five so this is the same as the union of equivalence class five with equivalence class two or four that gives us a and actually when we get the intersection of them okay we get the intersection of these two okay we actually get the empty set okay that's the empty set so what we've just shown here is that although we've constructed the equivalence classes that these equivalence classes uh, they also form a partition of the set okay and that's important and later on we'll do a little proof that shows that the set of equivalence classes actually partitions the set okay so what have we done here what have we done okay well basically what we've done is this is we've defined what we mean uh, by an equivalence an equivalence class it's just basically an equivalence relation on a set a and when we go through every value in this set a uh, each one of them values is related to some other values or possibly none okay okay based off the actual equivalence relation okay well actually they will be related to related to something because uh, the reflexive uh, value is the reflexive uh, the reflexive uh, let's say condition is there which means that every value in the set is related to related to itself okay so we have these sets of basically of basically elements where these elements are related are related to the specific values uh, in the set in the set a and this is what creates what's known as an equivalence class and from here for every value in the set a we end up with a set of equivalence classes these sets of equivalence classes 
they can actually end up being the same set in which case what we actually have is that those equivalence classes are actually equal to each other or they're equivalent to each other okay, if that makes sense okay, okay guys uh, once again this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and I hope that this video uh, Another video in our series of videos dealing with relations and functions, and in particular concentrating on equivalence classes. Uh, I hope that it was uh, intuitive, and more importantly, I do hope that it was help helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.